It was done with a guitar string and a tape recorder in Juan's house. <laughs> My name's Shauna Crenshaw. I'm from Orange County, California, and I've been getting tattooed since I was 13. I was 13, and it was a butterfly, and it was done with a guitar string and a tape recorder in Juan's house. <laughs> <laughs> and three dots because I thought in my head I was so gangster <laughs> my crazy life but I covered it I covered it eventually I didn't really know I was gonna be a tattoo collector I just kind of started getting tattoos and kind of came to a realization that I'm gonna pretty much cover myself so I didn't really, it wasn't really knowing, it was just kind of, I have this projection of how I see myself and I see myself just being covered in pretty much artwork. Yeah. All of them are meaningful. Every single one has meaning. Even if I don't like it, it has meaning. Honestly, my leg piece probably means the most. It's, it's not just like one, it's like the collective piece over time and kind of putting them all together and seeing it all come along, like that's probably been the most meaningful thing and just hearing people come up to me and say like, your leg piece is so beautiful. I had an 80 year old woman, I was sitting and getting my toes done and she's staring at my leg and she goes, your leg is beautiful. And I'm just thinking in my head, I'm like, that's probably the most touching thing you could hear is like somebody that would never get a tattoo, never even think of wanting a tattoo and they appreciate like good art. So my leg piece is definitely the most meaningful for sure. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> My life has changed dramatically since I've been getting tattooed. The people in my life are different. I get treated a little different, I'm not gonna lie. I get lots of good feedback. I started modeling. I probably would've never really did that if I wasn't as heavily tattooed as I am. I don't know, I've, I, it's been a really good decision for me to start getting tattooed. So it's changed dramatically in a good way. My first one was my most memorable because I thought I was so cool being able to get a tattoo at 13 with a guitar string and a motor and I just thought I was so cool. I don't know why and that's kind of how it started and ever since then I've always just admired tattoos. So yeah, my first little butterfly went on my back. <laughs> super, it was super gangster. <laughs> So not, but in my head, at 13, you think you're gangster. <laughs> the hardest part of getting tattooed is the pain and the healing process. The older I get, the, it hurts more. It didn't hurt as much when I was younger. And so the older I get, just the pain, because I sit for such a long time, and the healing process, especially in the winter, because I have to wear pants and clothes over my tattoos and it just rubs. So that's the only probably worst part. Other than that, I love it. Well, now that I'm a part of Sullen Family, um, I really haven't had to do too much research because I'm surrounded by so many great artists. You know, I kind of just go based on um, the artists that we have that are included in the family. So it kind of shows me what amazing artists we have, so I kind of just go to them. I wish to get tattooed by all of the Sullen artists. <laughs> Every single one. <laughs> no, um, honestly, Rich, I would really love to get tattooed by Roman and Pooch. Those are like my top three from Sullen for sure. Waiting for you guys. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah, those guys. I've been tattooed probably about by 15 artists so far. 
Well, my three main artists are uh, Joel Bones from Gold Rush Tattoo, and the guy that did my leg, Sam Dunsonberry, and he has his own tattoo shop. He came from Lowrider. And then my other artist was Newport Tattoo, and um, it was Kareem. And then the other ones were me just kind of walking into like tattoo shops and just wanting a tattoo at that time and kind of wanting to add to the collection, but my other artists were busy and <laughs> they're booked up and impatient. <laughs> So yeah, that was that's kind of like how it goes. I'm Shauna Crenshaw. I'm from Orange County, and thank you for checking out my collection. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys cut this up and like yeah, put yeah. it together. You're golden. <laughs> Oh, All right. Is that bad? <laughs> I'm such a dork. I probably sound so terrible. <laughs> so bad at this. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot my name for two seconds. Um, please, it's okay. It's okay. People already know. Like I'm a big dork, so it's okay. Um, <laughs> not that don't put that. <laughs> Don't put that. <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> Ooh, that's it. Okay, Gucci. Good job. Yay.